That was a good shot. You ever have a hatchet go right through your face? Ooh. Bone Tactical, Bone Breacher, Modern Warrior. Bone Tactical, Bone Hawk. Bone Tactical, Bone Kogatana. The Wingard Wearables Stingray Tomahawk. The Condor Cantina Hatchet. Before I throw these Bone Tactical Tomahawks, I need to get warmed up with some that I'm more familiar with uh, that I've thrown before. I've never thrown a bone tactical tomahawk. In fact, you get directions when you buy one. It's advised not to throw your weapon during a fight. <clears throat> They're very nice weapons, so I haven't been throwing them. I'm gonna do that today though. I just wanna get warmed up just to show you guys I ain't exactly a spring chicken to throw in. I'm not the best, but you know, I might take a spring chicken and fuck it. Condor Cantina Hatchet. This is the Wingard Wearables Stingray Tomahawk. This thing is 100% designed for throwing, to be the most convenient for throwing. As you can see, I have beaten up it pretty bad learning to throw it. It has been repaired. And if you miss with some good impact, it'll move the head around. But you just got to learn to throw it good. And it's all good. That was a little limp wrist. It. A lot of times, a lot of times, I'm real good with this until I try to put force behind it, and then I just can't, can't make it work. I'm gonna try it with force. And that's how you break them. Move that head around at least. This is my favorite thing to do. This thing is amazing. There was some force behind that. I haven't been throwing this thing lately. Stingray Tomahawk. It's perfect. Perfect in every way. It's really light. You ain't exactly gonna split someone's wig with it if you hit them with the with the face. But I always imagined if I had to, I'd throw it at somebody's weapon. Or their face. Oh fuck. We just had a major 
tripod failure. So I got a new tripod. This is what the new tripod looks like. One of the uh, birch stumps that we chopped in half with the machete yesterday. God, that's a thick bitch. All right, so now finally, the cantina hatchet. Um, I've been practice, practicing with this one all week. I doubt that's gonna show on camera, but differently than this one, I can really get some force behind this one. Some good force and some good accuracy that I've been developing with this baby right here. So let's see if I can put that on display for you. As you can see, it's pretty user-friendly, user even more user-friendly than this guy. So, I feel pretty warmed up now. I'm ready to go to the Bone Tactical Tomahawks. So, here they are. The Reclusive Warrior, I think it's called. I can't remember for some reason. Bone Hawk and the bone breacher. Every time somebody sees these, the first thing they say is, can you throw it? And then I say, well, the maker said you shouldn't throw it. And, I, and then they say, well, what good does a tomahawk if you can't throw it? And I say, fine point. <clears throat> I'll just throw a different tomahawk, I say. But, I mean, these just look like they're made for throwing, so we're going to try her out. I'm going to throw this one the way I was throwing the cantina. I'm going to throw this one the way I was throwing the stingray. Same amount of paces and same form. Really curious to see what happens. See now, I have used this bone breacher to open some locks, pound some shit. So I haven't used this edge on anything though. All right, so this is a huge hunk of steel. If you don't know how I'm throwing, I don't know if I'm on camera or not, but this is what I'm going at. Just at a proper distance. It landed where it was supposed to. It just didn't it just didn't stick in. That wood's really soft. I have hacked it to pieces over the week. Again. It just didn't stick. That's probably because Greg designs them to be easy to release from whatever you're chopping. The spike comes right out no matter what you s s stick it in, apparently, so does the edge. But it is landing where it's supposed to. I don't know what that one did. There we go. Ooh, that was in there. That was in there and that came out nasty. Whew. 
the pry bar at the bottom isn't doing me any favors on my hands. So, I don't know how many more of these I can do. I gotta end with a stick. I'll take it. I'll take it. Greg, design something for throwing, bro. This thing would, I can throw this. I just need to wrap this with something to keep my hand from getting fucked up. But I do believe you could design a very mean, nasty throwing, throwing hawk. Alright, the bone hawk. I feel like there's gonna be some bouncing happening. Pretty sure that landed blade first. Got him. Beautiful. I love this thing. <laughs> this is just such a heavy, heavy little unit. And to hear it whistling through the air like that. I mean. We got, a, we got a spike. We got a spike stick. I'm having major tripod issues, so sorry about this quality problem. was a very beautiful start. I'm gonna keep going because I have a rule. If I get hurt, if I bleed, if I look bad, if I make a mistake, and I recorded it, I gotta show it. So we're gonna figure this guy out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I have a rule that if I get hurt and bleed, I gotta show you. Well, this was kind of stuck under something, and I don't even remember how I grabbed it. I grabbed it all wrong, because now I'm bleeding again. The fucking beard got in my fucking hand. And that is my throwing hand. We're gonna revisit throwing bone tactical tool because that was deep. That was at least a quarter inch deep. It went upward.
about like that. So, uh, my hand's pretty dirty. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm supposed to go home. I guess I'm gonna go treat a wound. It's gonna be very difficult to document, so maybe I'll give you an update, but maybe we can watch it bleed for a minute. How about? I don't know. Fuck. They don't call me silly the kid for nothing. Alright, so since we're being fucking tactical today, I figured I might as well let you see what I did to myself. It's actually kind of sludging up now because I'm in the woods, I'm walking around, I'm trying to get my shit together, figure out what to do here. So I gotta share it with you. I got my freaking, you know what, my fucking bone tactical fucking bug out backpack here. Let's see what we got here. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna need water. Of a hand. Actually gonna pop open for the first time in my life. I'm gonna open some quick clot. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> Again, just because I hurt myself doesn't mean I'm a completely retarded piece of shit that shouldn't own edged weapons. It just means I'm not a professional. But shit happens, and professionals will tell you that. I ain't got no peroxide or nothing, people, so all you freaking armchair, armchair medics can just suck my fucking dick because I really don't know how to fucking effectively pack liquid like hydrogen peroxide and whatnot, so I just need to get out of here. I just need to get out of the woods at this point, so... I'm just going to use this quick clot. I mean, I don't really need to st go to the trouble to stuff it in the wound. Ooh, it's a dirty hand, though. It's a dirty hand. I'm not really that afraid of germs, though. So, we're going to do it like that. I'm just going to squeeze down on that bitch. Because it just snuck right under my, my fucking hand skin. <clears throat> yeah. It didn't really touch a bone or anything, but this stuff's the best. Because for this, my hand might benefit being dry though. You gotta do a lot of a lot of stuff for the first time. I got to throw bone tactical tomahawks for the first time with, you know, fair success. I got to find a sweet ass machete in the forest and abuse it and use it and I get to open some quick clot for the first time that's kind of exciting and I got to bust open my bone tactical uh, <laughs> first aid kit it's, I'm just glad I can share it with you guys I hate doing shit for the first time like I mean I love doing stuff for the first time but I hate not being able to relive it you know, that's why when I watch my favorite movie, I like to do it with someone who's never seen it because then I can kind of experience it again for the first time through them.
<laughs> fucking Amazon medical scissors. A lot of good those fucking did me. Job well done. Fucking wound. You bandage it. Oh uh, yeah, it's just a little old it's a little old prick. I don't gotta stop throwing today. I'm not just saying this, but I feel like that tree is so chopped up that it's a little spongy and it's having a hard time. I'm getting a... Now I had another problem, I ran out of space, I had to make space, but I really got on a fucking roll with the bone hawk, so check it out.
be wearing eye protection. That was a good shot. You ever have a hatchet go right through your face? Ooh, that slipped. Sweet, so now you guys have got to ride along on my entire bone tactical tomahawk throwing progression. I think it's pretty ideal for a lot of reasons. I'm even willing to say it's better than the Stingray. And I'll explain why here in a minute. Ooh. Can't all be zingers. There's a lot of variables to throw in this thing. It's a lot heavier than the Stingray. It's a lot deadlier. All right, so I'm starting to fall apart here, but you've seen it, you've seen it all. All right, round two. I got protection. Let's try her again. I guess just a good old fashioned glove would, would, would do the trick here. success but I'm paying for it. That was round two. And boy was it a pleasure. Okay round three with the glove. It's probably pointless because I can't get it on all the way over my bandage. I'm gonna end it with that shot. All right, and don't think I was gonna forget the bone Kogaton on my everyday carry. Again, I doubt Greg would tell you to throw this, but the longer I carry it and the more I hold it, the more I just wanna throw it. And I have been, it's not very sharp. I've been throwing it and using it and abusing it. It's a thick bitch. And 
it's just designed to put it through whatever you can think of. I used to have the handle wrapped with leather because I just, it, the handle looks as if it's begging to be wrapped or filled in with something. But now that I took it off, I realized that that's not, that's not true. It's, it's, an, it's such a good knife. It's, I don't even know how we came up with it, but it just wants to be thrown. I don't know how to throw knives. I don't. No idea how to throw knives. Never really got the hang of it. I can only kind of do a no spin technique up close like like that. <clears throat> Which, you know, if you needed to do that, it would probably work pretty good. <laughs> It might at least give you time to get to your next knife or gun. I do not want to bleed three times in one weekend for Bone Tactical, I don't. So I can go this close. I guess not. It's a bad idea. It's a bad fucking idea. My hand is wounded. I'm all thrown out. I'm just gonna get hurt, man. <sighs> Maybe a different time, people. <laughs> no, man. I've, I can't take any more chances. I've bled enough. We'll just, you know, we'll try it. We'll try it like this, how about? Like this, how about this? I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just try it like this. Well, that was nice. Having some luck on the holding it by the handle. I mean, Greg, is that just some kind of big joke, man? That on those care cards that you send with your blades, it says not to throw them. It seems like all your tools are perfectly suitable for throwing.
Hey. Not bad. Not bad. I like this knife. Found out something new today. Put this back where it goes. Not wrecking. One last look at the destruction that we did to this stump, this perfectly healthy stump. Yeah, that shit's from the bone breacher. Those big, wide, <laughs> obvious gouges. Yep, the clop that satisfies. Now you know we gotta check in with the wound. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, I didn't realize that. It went through. It went through my, my hand skin. Yeah, I just took the bandage off and hit record. I didn't realize that. No wonder it hurt so fucking bad. There's really no good angle out here. Don't worry about this thing. I don't, I don't even remember how that happened. That's nothing, but look at that. Ooh wee. Jesus. Yeah, it landed on the damn ground with face up and I went to grab my finger. What did I do? I think I might have went to grab it like this. And it was stuck. It was wedged between something, the bottom of the handle. So when I went to yank it out, it was stuck and my hand kind of did like a little jump and the bottom of that beard went right fucking through my hand. But I mean like, I don't really know at what point you need stitches. I feel like if it won't stop bleeding is when you need stitches. So. I don't think I need stitches. There it is washed off. Fuck. Ouch, dude. I mean, if you were to freaking grapple somebody with that, like around their fucking hand or neck or shoulder, would it, would it just slice right fucking through? <laughs>